G'day folks. Well, I hope y'all enjoying your weekend. Saturday now in Australia anyway. Um, just been shopping and uh, running around. Got to the scrapyard, dumped a heap of those solar heating panels and other stuff that wasn't worth salvaging. Um, picked up a Vane R12 automotive charging unit for vehicles and uh, workshop use. So that'll be an interesting equipment autopsy or possibly in addition to Brad's little kit. Here's the Auto AC Guru. Um, thanks for all the um, info on the uh, Johnson 115. That was uh, very helpful. I did realise the temperature should be in Fahrenheit. Um, I got this from my troubles that day, just cleaning the carburetors. It's iPhone 8 gigabytes, probably a Series 2 or something. The old ones are a lot bigger and thicker, if I remember. Just got a bit of a problem with the top of the display there. The panel's damaged, but it all works fine. Everything's there. Even as camera, the lot. Photo I took last night. Not very good, but no, it's the workshop. And there's nothing else in there. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm after a charger for one of these, that's what this is about. If anyone has a good charger or can recommend an aftermarket one, let me know. Likewise, I also need the USB cable. So, anyway, the other major thing I bought was a sundial miniature flywheel engine. I believe they're Australian made. Um, it's a bit windy out here, but we'll see how we go. Um, I found those two at the junkyard too. I don't know what's wrong with them. But this is the big one. 200 bucks worth. It's very windy actually. It's semi-enclosed crank. Hasn't been run in yonks. Somebody had it apart for restoration and never really got any further. It's like a half finished resto project. So, yeah, I'll get that off the trail and have a better look at it. That's the vane machine. Brad can probably play with that one. And there's another Villiers, same model as what I gave him a while ago, so he can play with that too. Yeah, these are both Samsung display panels. This one's complete and unbroken, but it stinks like cigarette smoke, even standing on the other side of the trailer, I can smell it. That one there is clean, but they've banged the panel and it's all fractured through there, so that's pretty much parts only. This one here is probably salvageable, or maybe salvageable, if it's even worth it. But it's a nice 50 inch screen, so let's say it's worth it. The front's a bit scratched from being transported, but that's okay. Yeah, I'll put power to that next and see what it does. Well, the LCD behind it is stone cold dead, and with a smashed panel it isn't worth fixing, but this one just powered straight up. 50 inch plasma. I wonder if they got rid of it because of that heinous smoke smell, like it is bad. I don't mind the smell of cigarettes. I mean, I used to smoke in high school a little bit, and I still don't mind the smell of them. But the smell that's coming out of this is like someone's been smoking white ox in front of it for the last couple of years, just non-stop. It would not surprise me in the least if they canned it simply because of the stink. Like it's got nicotine residue all over it. I'm going to have to clean this thing spotless if I decide to keep it. Which I probably will because it's an awesome big display. It'd be nice to hang up in here somewhere if I could find the room. But that's probably where it'll end up. It's not going in my bedroom. Not with that kind of stink. It's a smoker's telly. Uh, maybe someone will like it. I know more than enough people this smoke so... We'll see how long it lasts. He might just decide to up and die after 15 minutes, I don't know. Find a signal for it and give it a proper test run, put it back on its base. There is a base for it, so that's good. But the other one we'll do an equipment autopsy on one day soon. I'll put it out under the carport and awaiting equipment autopsy. Uh, what else does this do? Source. Digital. Flickering. Hmm. Yeah, it's okay. You have to excuse me sniffing, it's bloody hay fever at the moment and it's going nuts. Input wise, it has a tuner in it, it has HDMI, uh, PC input. No DVI, that's a bit of a shame. It's got high definition input but no DVI, which really sucks. Because these look pretty good when you use DVI input. Oh well, I'll stand it up the right way and give it a, give it a go, let it run all afternoon. 
Yeah, in a big living room this would probably look fairly small, but in a cramped workshop like this, that's just obscene. <laughs> I can't really describe that anything other than obscene. It's bigger than the lathe. Longer, not quite as heavy, but still, it took a bit of effort to get it up there. But yeah, that's where it can stay for now. I was going to put it on the steel table, but I want to put the sunshine engine on there and give it a good look, at, look over first. Uh, after I move that stuff. Um, the Morris engine is another thing. I looked up the Ryko part number that somebody gave me and Ryko have discontinued them. So I'm probably going to have to buy a spin-on adapter or try and find something that's been sitting in storage for ages at some Morris specialist, as far as oil filter is concerned. But that's alright, that can go over there near that Panasonic plasma which also needs to be troubleshooted. And I'll go through these others and just see what's worth keeping. Definitely fixing this LCD though, as some people, or somebody mentioned I think it was Gavin Curtis or um, one of the other electronics gurus mentioned these capacitors are industrial grade 130 degree Rubicons. So essentially what's in here, including the Nippon Chemicon caps in the uh, power supplies, is fairly industrial. So yeah, it'd be silly not to troubleshoot it with a heat gun and just see what whether it fires up or not. The Phillips, not so fast. I haven't even looked at the power supply yet. That's it there. It's just maybe. I don't know, there's enough plasmas kicking around now. You don't really need to bother fixing the really old crappy ones. I couldn't care less if this Panasonic isn't fixable, but they're one of the better panels, so I'll try. And the LCD, well, that's got a smashed panel and doesn't even try and start up, so I'm guessing it was a dead power supply to start with. And then transporting it to the scrapyard, probably the base of that one has been bearing down on it and just gone pop and snapped it. So that's equipment autopsy. It's substantially lighter though. Plasmas are so heavy by comparison to this thing. This is just flimsy plastic crap which someone has taken a lot of screws out of. So someone's been in it already. That one there, no one's been in it. It just stinks like cigarettes. There we go. Let's watch 20 hours of static. <laughs> nah, better not. I'm sure someone's already done that on YouTube. It's probably like several days worth of static. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. It's dead and I can hear relays clicking as the power supply tries to restart. Now it's gotten hot. Uh, there might be a dried up capacitor or something in there that's failing when it gets hot. Not too hard to troubleshoot with the heat gun, but not sure if it's worth it with this amount of smoke smell. Either way, it means I'm pulling this thing apart and cleaning it anyway. It's just sticky. Yeah. Sounds like multiple relays latching and then unlatching. Oh well, that's what I wanted to know. I wanted to know if it was going to die after a little while when it gets warm. You can feel the heat coming off the panel. These things do get warm. <laughs> 